Chosen, tell me about Sneakerella because, I mean, there's really nothing else like this film. Uh, nothing's been done very similar to this. Well, Sneakerella is a, is a new contemporary spin on the classic Cinderella story. Uh, it's about a, a young kid named Elle who grows up in Astoria, New York. And uh, he's a dreamer. He, he has a dream of being a sneaker designer. And that dream was planted in him uh, by his mom, who uh, owned a sneaker store. And unfortunately, she passes away. And now we find Elle learning to live with his uh, stepfather and stepbrothers. And it's proving uh, pretty difficult. But um, throughout the course of this film, we, we see him uh, rise to stardom in the, in the sneaker industry. But that comes with some challenges. And he, he needs the help of his best friend and his community to uh, reach his best potential. And on that road, he finds love and uh, the beautiful Aww. cure. And uh, it's just a, a beautiful musical with awesome songs, epic dances, and uh, a, a real feel good, um, real feel good message. That's awesome. And I think what people are saying is so special about this film is um, it was usually, you know, Cinderella was, was a woman and she kind of was waiting for her prince, but it's kind of cool to see that flipped on its head uh, yeah. and, and the other way around. How is it to be a part of something that is so different and, and there's been no fresher take than Sneakerella? I think it's only, I think it's only appropriate. You know, I grew up in a, in a world and where there's so many powerful and strong and uh, leader women in my life. So it, it feels like, but right, you know, to see that, oh, I, I, my woman is helping me as well. She's saving me. She, she's guiding me in certain ways. And I feel like in any healthy relationship, that is the case, you know, uh, Elle picks up where she's, he has strengths that she doesn't have and she has strengths that he doesn't have. And they both love each other for those weaknesses and the strengths. And I, I just think it's a really cool thing to, uh, to, to see that. And I think it'll be great for kids to have a, a sampling of both. Oh, that's awesome. And what was your favorite, without giving too much away, what was you, what's your favorite scene in the movie? What, what moment really kind of touched your soul? Because there are a lot of those moments. Uh, uh, for one, it would have to be kicks uh, because kicks was the start of the movie. Uh, kicks sets the tone. Kicks tells you everything you need to know about the film. Uh, it shows you that Elle is a dreamer. He, he wants to soar, he wants to fly, but also he, he sometimes lands on his butt, but he always gets back up. And um, I just think that that was just a fun scene to shoot and having all those dancers in the street and just the energy was so contagious and infectious. Right. And what advice would you have for younger people, you know, similar to your character that have a dream they want to pursue, but their parents aren't necessarily the most supportive and everyone in the world is telling them no? Well, that's the funny thing about visions uh, and about a dream. Only You're the only one who has to see it. You know, uh, sometimes in life, people won't see the dream and it's not because anything wrong with them. It's just because it's your dream. And I would just say, protect your dream at all costs. And uh, no matter if people believe in it or not, uh, I think, I forget which film it was, but it said, uh, sometimes uh, the people, pe sometimes the people, people expect, Ugh, I can't say it right, but <laughs> yes, just go out there, chase your dreams. And um, just never quit. Fall seven, get up eight. Incredible. Well, that's a really good life lesson there. Protect your dreams. So thank you so much and uh, congratulations. It's a pretty cool film. I appreciate it. Thank you.